Connor, welcome to Kilmarnock. How you found your first day? Really good. Um, lad, great, great bunch of lads. Uh, made me feel welcome. Um, good first training session as well. Standard was good. Very fast and yeah, yeah. Looking forward to the challenge. How did this move come about for you? Um, well, I met, met met the manager last week. Had a chat. And obviously, the buzz around the club at the moment's really good. So um, yeah, just within the past week, just. Yeah, it just materialised like that. What have you kind of heard of? What do you know about Kilmarnock? Um, not much. Um, I've never been up here, so I'm looking forward to that challenge. Um, spoke to a few lads who've played up here, a few Scottish lads um, at Fleetwood, and yeah, they, they all bang on about yeah, it's really physical, very fast, um, and it's a good standard, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. For those who, who may not have watched you play before, how, how would you describe yourself as a player? Um, forward thinking, uh, work hard for the team as well, first and foremost. Um, try and make things happen, chip in with a few goals, hopefully, as well. James McFadden was speaking very highly <coughs> of you um, from your time at Everton. There's no shortage of, kind of Scottish connections there. Was there anyone from, from your time there that you, you remember fondly or that have helped you through your career? Um, yeah, he was, a, he was a really good lad. He was only really young. Um, he was coming to the end of his career, but yeah, really good fella. Um, You've got Ross Wallace as well, um, at Fleetwood. Yeah, it's always banging on about Scotland and that. Yeah, but yeah, really good lads. And was Stephen Naismith Everton around about the time? Because um, he obviously played here, and you, you might come <coughs> up against him in, in Friday night. Yeah, Naisy. Yeah, um, yeah. Spent a couple of years there. As again, I was just just trying to break into the first team, and he was doing really well himself. But he was a great fellow as well. So yeah, I'll, I'll see him Friday. Yeah. What have the experiences of the, the, the clubs that you've been at, what have they kind of taught you and what have you kind of added to your, your game as you've come through uh, the ranks? Different, all different things really. When you're playing against with different managers you just pick up on t- different things and each each move that you have you, you, you come away t- a different player in, in essence um, and just all about trying to build all that into one and here I am now and hopefully I can do right. You mentioned meeting the manager last week. What has he kind of said to you about what you'd be looking for you to add to the squad? Um, as I said just there, um, hopefully chip in with a few goals, a few assists. Um, I know it's a uh, hard working team. I've watched them a few times now on, on telly. It's really, that really jumps out at you. Um, but that's that, that's number one. That's what I'm going to do anyway. I'm going to work hard for the team and then hopefully um, chip in with some assist some goals and um, some chances and go from there. And how excited are you about a, a kind of change of scenery in Scottish football where you, where you would have been before? Yeah, it's a totally, totally new new challenge. Um, and again, yeah, I'm just I'm just itching to get going and hopefully I can I can do well.